All right, guys, today we'll be dealing with containers for web development. And I've chosen LSD containers because uh, they are extremely fast and will not uh, overload your system as other proposed solutions. We can install those containers using snap. So we'll type sudo snap install LSD. I have it uh, here already installed in my system. And now we can create an initial configuration uh, for the containers. Uh, so we can type sudo lxd in it. And we'll use the defaults for all the questions. Uh, so for example, we'll not connect to another cluster so far. We'll use a storage pool for preserving our information. And uh, the backend will be btrfs. We'll create a pool inside the size of the device will create a, a local network bridge towards which we'll, we'll connect later then uh, we're setting if we would like uh, to use uh, different uh, IP addresses than the standard ones for IP version 6 and IP version 4 and uh, for now we will not be exposing this container over internet and that's for now we should be able to configure our LXC environment and if we go to images linux containers.org we can browse a list of images we can uh, use inside of uh, LXC. Uh, basically to load them up uh, we'll need to know uh, the distribution name, the release name, the architecture and this way we can download the container images directly from this repository. As you can see we have Alpine and also Arch Linux CentOS, uh, Debian and other uh, distributions here supported as well as Ubuntu. I'll stick to the uh, Alpine uh, image because it's uh, super lightweight. So we'll go back to the terminal and here we can use the following command. Uh, so we'll type LXC launch and then from images Alpine uh, the version and the architecture. Then uh, we can use uh, the name of the container we would like to create based on this image. Uh, so we can uh, type, for example, uh, dev container, and as you saw, uh, it immediately downloaded the image and uh, even started our uh, container. Now let's see how we can uh, enter inside uh, via a shell. Now we can type uh, sudo lxc ls, and uh, this is so far our container. It has uh, IP addresses, also the name, and it's running. So let's enter inside of the dev container. So we'll type sudo lxc exec dev container and shell. And uh, this is our shell inside of the container. Um, actually, those are the directories. We, PS, we can see what started inside of the container. We can set up um, SSH uh, connection towards uh, this container. So uh, we'll add first to the OpenSSH server, so we'll type apk add OpenSSH server and this will fetch the server and configure it for us. The server is not started, so let's start this service with uh, service SSH ID uh, start and uh, now the SSH daemon is started, uh, so we should be able to connect to this container. The point is, uh, let's not use a root um, account to connect to the container. So let's create one uh, user. Let's add user developer. All right, so we have uh, user dev with password dev. And now we'll need to restart uh, the service. So type service SSH D restart. And now let's uh, try to connect to this machine. Um, we'll go to another prompt and let's see what kind of networks we have inside of our uh, container exposed. So we'll type sudo lxc network ls. All right, so from the network output, we see that uh, we have one bridge address, but we cannot c connect directly uh, through it. So if we type uh, sudo ssh uh, dev our newly created user to this address, we'll see that the connection is refused. Uh, we need to find the internal 
IP address of the container. For this, we'll go back to our container and we'll type IPA to show all the addresses. And we see for the ATH uh, interface that we have uh, this IP address. So I'll copy the address and try to connect directly to the ETH uh, interface. All right, let's see now. And uh, we are asked for password. So we'll type the password and we are inside of the container. Now we see all the processes and uh, we are in our uh, home dev uh, directory. Now our next goal is to install Apache uh, web server. Let's go back uh, to the container where we have our root access. And so here we will use apk add apache2 to start our uh, installation process. Uh, as you can see, everything is uh, ready. And then service apache2 uh, start in order to start the process. And now if we type ps, we see that uh, we have one master process for the Apache and it spawned uh, five uh, slave processes which will handle our connections. And we see also the directory of configuration of the Apache server as well as uh, from where we will be serving our content. So we can go to this directory var vv and here under localhost and htdocs we'll have our index.html, so we should basically see uh, it works. Uh, let's go back uh, to our browser and uh, browse uh, the container IP address. So this was uh, the IP address of the container and we see it works. This means that we are inside of the uh, container and we are browsing uh, the Apache uh, server uh, content so we can uh, start creating websites from here. All right, guys, one more thing. Uh, let's say that we would like to develop locally and uh, the information to be exposed through the container. We can uh, do this easily uh, by just mapping a local directory from our host to the container. So the container can read from this directory and display the information. So we're interested in the directory var vv localhost htdocs uh, inside of the container because uh, there we have our index.html file. And uh, we'll create a mapping for a local directory towards this uh, directory. What I mean is uh, this long uh, command here, uh, which is actually uh, we're configuring RxC uh, to uh, create a shared directory inside of our uh, dev container. And it will be of type disk where we are basically mounting inside of var vv localhost htdocs. So this is inside of the container our uh, directory so i just created one directory web dev in uh, my home directory okay so after executing this uh, command as we see uh, there is nothing in the directory and if we go to the browser and refresh uh, we see that uh, we don't have anything here but very easily if we launch from here uh, visual studio code we'll be able uh, to create uh, files and uh, run them from the container. So let's create one, uh, just uh, hello from container file and uh, we'll save it as uh, index.html. As you can see, uh, now we have this uh, file here and uh, let's refresh the browser. And we see directly hello from the container. Uh, this way we can uh, develop our code uh, inside of uh, Visual Studio Code and see the result uh, directly from the container. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the information. And if it was interesting for you, you can uh, subscribe to the channel for more.